The Singer Model 15, introduced in 1879, is probably the most copied sewing machine design in the world. Here's an original Singer Model 15-90, probably made in the 30s, maybe the 40s, with the upper tension on the face plate, which is very typical, and the motor mounted on the hand crank boss, so this machine could be used as a 1588, a 1589, or as you see it here, a 1590 with the reversible um, stitch and regulator that was first used on the Model 201. And when I say that this machine was the most copied machine ever, I refer mostly to the drive train layout, which you see here, as well as the central bobbin system which it uses. This was the first singer to be totally devoid of gears in the drivetrain, which made it a much less expensive machine to produce in the 19th century. And here we are after World War II, a Model 15 clone that has been modified to do a zigzag stitch. And if we tip it back, we see that exact same drivetrain mechanism that was used first in 1879 on the Singer 15 with just enough additional parts to make it do a zigzag stitch. And I believe this machine was probably made in Japan, although it could have been made in Europe, particularly Italy. Um, but most of these were made in Japan, and they're really very good quality machines. They all use that Singer Model 15 drivetrain, which originated with this machine here. So if you see one of these machines, and you're wondering about how reliable it's going to be, look it over. Every machine is different. The layout of the controls is different. Um, the materials used for the controls is different. Try to look for one of the ones with the metal knobs and buttons. They're going to be more reliable. Otherwise, they're decent machines. And as you can see, this one here has the same hand crank mounting boss that the Singers had. And you could probably use this machine in a treadle cabinet if you wanted. Not all the Japanese Singer 15 clones are going to be laid out this way, so you'll have to look around. But it is a very good machine, and if properly cared for and lubricated, should last you a lifetime. Anyway, this has been Oklahoma Bridges. Thank you for watching.